What up guys? This video I'm going to show you how to solo a Dire Maul tribute run as a hunter. Um, you can see me just scatter shot this guy real quick. There's a little hidden jump here. Just jump, move forward, jump, move forward. These guys on the left, they're going to aggro to you and won't matter. They can't hit you. They'll reset. Um, I'm a pretty noob hunter. Never played a hunter in all my 15 years of playing WoW until classic so you see some plays that you're like ah oh, what are you doing yeah I'm still learning so I guess this guy is for uh, hunters that aren't that good <laughs> so here I'm gonna pull this with my pet I wanna wait until all the mobs aggro to him because sometimes you'll go too early and they'll just come to you scatter shot just give yourself some more time before broken tooth dies Things aggro very easily in here. So we're gonna get the first key here to open up the door. This is this is probably my third time running this so far. So as I kept going, it got easier and easier, that's for sure. But there's a little trick here, the spot here. Um, I used to aggro that one on the left as I went down, or the mobs down here on the right. But if you jump right here and you were to have aggro, you would just stay right there and the mobs would re reset. Come down here. If you get to this door within like a minute 30, minute 40-ish, um, this eye is going to be spawning, coming toward us here. You want to make sure you take that out or you might as well just reset your dungeon. I use my pet a lot. You're going to see a lot of different guys, guides. Um, they don't use the pet. They'll just go. My gear is not that great for it. I tried. I just get destroyed So I always make sure my pet is at a uh, At happy and then I keep him on stay back here. And I just basically LOS pull Majority of my pulls are just LOSing So I'll send him in I'll click the mage because the mage is the one that will kind of screw you a lot Have him go back to his stay position Basically, you just click passive if you don't have a hotkey. Scatter shot that guy because sometimes he'll just target you and just screw you up. But if you run far enough, you can run where you won't have to res your pet. So you just feign death. I'm going to arrange my pet. I can call him back real quick, real easy. Also, sometimes you get to this spot here and you will, um, you'll you'll get the eye here if you're late to that door. So just make sure you take it out. You always want to keep your pet at happy. So I normally feed him every time I res him. I keep him on stay most of the time when I come up here. Because I'm just pulling with my pet. So I'll put him on stay. Have him go in. I'll target the, the mage. Pull him out. If he casts, I run early save right there. I got hit by the demon. But I'll scatter shot just to give Broken Tooth a little bit more time so he doesn't die. Now right here, I always feign death right in the middle of this triangle, basically. If I go further, I get the, the beetles in front of me. If I'm further back, when I res, I'll pick that pack up behind. It sucks. This pull, you'll see some guides, they'll, they'll kill these. I don't kill them. I don't have uh, the gear for it, so kind of sucks. But we'll feed them right away. So far running this, in an hour I make anywhere from 60 to 140 depending on what drops at the end. So I'll send the guy after the first one and then I'll send it after the second one because they're two different pulls. So if you went out before the first, the second pull aggroed, you would get them and they would just really screw you. Here I'm going to let this boss aggro me just to show you guys. It charges, let it charge you and then faint. Because a lot of times you'll faint. And as he's charging and it just you're just dead so here I'm waiting for him to pat before I come up I won't need my pet for a little bit so he run, walks an angle when he's at that furthest angle I'll pop up and I stay to the left here see that little flower in the middle of the wall and there's an eye that just went by I missed it 
Target the eye. Kill the eye quick. Get full mana. Now when he's back, put a little frost trap here. I target the other one and I body pull this close one so I get frozen. I'm just waiting for him to pat. Because I want him to, he's going to pat to this left side of the bridge and then he's going to pat all the way back around. He's going to turn around here and then I'm going to pull. Uh, well, normally that would pull, right? Every time you don't want it to. But pull it. Scatter shot before it hits you. I get to about right here. Some people here will uh, vanish, or not vanish, they'll use an invis, invis pot. Me, I just use my pet because I'm just trying to make it where, you know, it's really hard to make a mistake. I always make sure that I'm facing the wall though so he's, he reses to the left. I don't pass that crack ever. Once in a while, I'll be off, but I'll send him in here. I'll move up to the, to the ramp until they're casting, both of them, so then I don't get the, the debuffs or anything. Come right here, feign death, let Broken Tooth die. Now here, I just pop an invis pot. You can do this pull without invis pot, it just really sucks. I normally had to control my pet, grab both these, and then run back and jump off the ledge there, and put them on stay, and then run by and feign. But, Invis pot, it's 40 silver on our server. So for the doors, I use the engineering large Seaforium blast. But you can use blacksmithing keys too, I think. They're both cheap. But I'm pretty sure if you kill that boss underneath us too, he drops a key. So I don't know if it's a one use key. I think it's a one use key, so. Disregard that. But we res them up, feed the pet again. I put a frost trap down here. Some guys send their pet all the way in. I, for some reason I have bad luck, so I just shoot the guy. And I'll target the second guy. Because I'm going to send my pet in. Once he's to the trap. Because if you have your pet attack him up top, the mobs on the right will aggro. So, boom. Save the scatter shot. Oh, no, I messed this up. Right here, I messed it up. Ow! Oh! So... Here we go. I'm just gonna feign it. You can see how touchy that pack is on the right. See, you're learning from. See, I told you I'm a bad hunter. So now we gotta res him again. So we probably would have got done quicker if I didn't do this. Well, we would have for sure. Res him up. I also stream on Twitch if you guys wanna follow me over there. Make sure you subscribe on this, like the video. I'm going to try to upload more videos to YouTube. I haven't in a long time. But uh, you guys can catch me streaming on Twitch. Twitch TV Minnesota with two A's. I'm real big into uh, the world PvP, so that's where I'm going to try to get really good at. But again, here we go. We'll set it up, put the trap down. Actually, when I was recording this, I thought I sent my hunter in too early, so I'm glad uh, I'm watching this to see it was my own fault. I blame Broken Tooth, and yeah, that is that is Broken Tooth, Broken Tooth. Send the pet in, easy. Now, if you run real fast and get this done, the door open and everything, Broken Tooth won't die again, but. Most of my runs, he dies right here. I can't remember if he dies here or not. Yeah, he's gonna die. Oh, yeah, he's gonna die. So he died. Pain death. Drink. I know there's guys out there getting to this part in about six minutes. Hopefully I'll be there. But this is pretty much just a real easy guide for your average hunter. Because by all means, I'm, I'm not the best, or I'm still learning. But it is cool to be able to solo a lot of this stuff. Because after you finish this, after the chest... Oh, here we go. Never mind. I'll tell you when we get there. So I'm going to put him on stay again, heal him up to full. 
This pull, I used to die a lot. Because I would wait. I'd go in too early, and then I'd get slowed, and then he would die. So I send him in, have him out. He's about halfway I go. I scatter shot this mage almost every time. But you can normally run to here. No problem. Feign death. Rinse repeat. Oh, he didn't die. That's right. Nice. Ah. Heal him up. So we're just gonna send him into the boss. Suicide. We're really crappy pet owners as hunters in this place. Run by. Real simple. Quick feign. And a res. So the cool thing about doing these as a hunter though, um, when you're done, the chest at the end, even if the person is not in your party, you can invite like, I invite a rogue. I normally sell them to rogues. The ring. Anyone that can stealth, basically. Because I don't want to have to clear the place. But supposedly there's a way to get a non-stealthy here. Which, whoever knows, let me know down below. But again, send the pet in. Have him come back in passive. Run by. But, like I was saying, at the end, you can... Um, Invite a stealthy and he can come in and loot the chest even if he wasn't here or in your group when you killed it It doesn't matter It's a nice extra way of making gold But these these dog pats right here if you don't catch them if you're later than right now like I'm about to pull these dogs at the last second But if you were to wait any longer than that you would be uh pretty screwed for your time it, it's almost like another eight minutes it feels like for them to pat all the way to the front to the left to the front back and then back to where you need them to kill them so make sure you kill these dogs but if you don't catch them early enough you just gotta wait and it sucks but pretty simple put some stings up guide them just remember, if you, if you mess up and you feign, feign where, try to feign that they're not right over top of you or close to you because they will just pull you right out. Typical hunter stuff right here though, just easy. Try to stay, keep them that way. If you go to the left too early, the one will go left and the other two will go right. That will kind of screw you sometimes. My spec that I went is pretty, pretty janky. I just put points where I felt like uh, they would be good for this, which I can show you guys at the end of the video, along with my gear. But right now, I'm at the time I'm doing the runs in about 24 minutes, and still making 60 to 100 something gold an hour. So hopefully, I get faster. Popped a mana pot just because I'm. Oh, it's taking too long, I feel like. So. And you get so many mana pots doing this, it's pretty ridiculous. I think in the three runs, I got. Almost 18 map major mana pots. It's pretty nice. Alright. So it's all dead. I feigned death to drink because this arena, the, the guys up top. It just won't let you drink. Alright, we're gonna get full mana. You know, you're gonna see a lot of people, why don't you kite around the circle? Blah, 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 blah. You can't anymore. Like, I, I watched that video too. I've been watching a lot of Bean on Twitch. I watched him struggle with this for like three hours, I wanna say. 
I didn't watch the whole time, but every time I check in, he was he was still figuring it out. But he's gotten it down now. But it, you can't cut in a circle because the mobs on the other side, the ogres, they're too close, so they just aggro you every time. So right here, we're gonna get our pet close. We're gonna take control of Broken Tooth. Pop sprint, jump across. We're gonna run right into the shaman here. I run past a good little bit, and I click off the, the buff, which makes the pet go too far, so you gotta recall it. Put it on stay. I mend it just to get some threat. And to heal it to full, of course. This boss will charge. So I send my pet in early. Takes this charge. I put. I use Serpent Sting. Some people don't, but I use it for some reason. My pet must have did some crazy damage. For for the shaman, what I basically do, so basically do, is um, what is that? Viper Sting, the Mana Drain one. A Mana Drainer, and I let her cast, and I just LOS the cast. Full cold sellers. Keep it on. Feign Death. Now behind us. You'll see Broken Tooth is in this corner right here, on stay. So basically what they're going to do, they're going to run all the way back to Broken Tooth. Which is a pretty long run for these guys. But it's easy, I Serpent Sting. And I just do the normal rotation. Put the mana thing back on the Shaman. LOS, really simple. You don't really need to hit her, I don't know why I have but I just try to make sure she stays up there a little bit longer. So I LOS her. Just to try to get the timing of them different. But for everyone else, you'll just do whatever you like. So now she's gonna, she's closer. So I'll take her right away. Get her to cast on me, LOS her. Get her to cast on me again, LOS her. Real simple. Like once you get here, this is the, the hardest part is just getting to right here, to be honest. This part's just a, a very boring, drawn out thing. I even popped a mana pot just because I just, you get them like candy now. But again, um, I stream on Twitch, Twitch TV, Minnesota, with two A's. Come hang out, ask questions. I do stream retail too. I know some of you guys probably won't like that, but I stream some retail, but mainly I want to stream uh, classic PvP. Like I, I think it's gonna be so fun. It's basically why I made the Hunter, but there's a lot of buggy things with the Hunter that I don't like. But all in all, pretty fun. Real easy. She's almost out of mana here. He's coming back. I think I almost messed this up if I remember. But yeah, you just don't wanna, if you're doing it right, your your pet won't get hit. I also uh, solo the rare that spawns out in front of Dire Maul. Uh, basically with him, the scar the unbreakable, I just, I Serpent Sting, I shoot, and I just run with Aspect on. But I run at angles. If you guys want to see a video of that just put a comment down below but basically I just abuse the, the teleport mechanic that that rare has so once you get so far it just teleports you to the middle so I run teleports me I run to the opposite side shooting it and when you get to the edge of the arena it normally will port you back to the center you just run to the opposite side but that one can drop the orb of deception here if you get knocked back remember don't panic you don't want to feign death But now you fade death, drink. This is just the boring part. So I'm gonna play the video out. Hopefully I can find some good tunes. But if not, um, hopefully see you in the stream or see you in the next video.
Um, at the very end of this video, I will show you a clip of me inviting a guy, showing you that you can just invite someone after you kill it, and they can get the ring. Or whatever loot's in the chest. But, thanks for watching.
All right, like I promised. Um, I'm gonna invite this rogue that I found in general chat. He wants the ring. Um, he wasn't here when I killed it. So we're gonna invite him. This was the first time I ever did this too. I wanted to, this was me basically testing it. But here, we invite him. Now he has to run here. The only thing he really has to watch out for is the dogs or the eyes. He actually pulls the eyes and I actually have to go and basically kite the eyes all the way back to here and kill him like I killed the dogs just so we can get by. But it's pretty, it doesn't take very long. If it happens, I think, you know, just go grab him and pull him, let him get in front of you, and let him vanish and feign death will work too. But I just ended up killing him. But here's my gear. Three piece, tier one. Some best of soft blues. The sword from here. The crossbow. Trinket from here. The two rings. I got both rings. Are of course so long it. My gear's not awful, but we'll skip to the point where he's here, so you guys don't have to watch all this. <laughs> 